Hello and welcome to World History Encyclopedia. My name is Kelly and today I am joined by Marcus Kangas. Marcus is the CEO of My True Ancestry, a website where you can discover your ancient past through your DNA. And today we're going to learn all about Marcus's project and the kinds of things you can learn about your ancient ancestors at mytrueancestry.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hi, hello. Glad to be here. Okay, well, I think the best place to start is the overall concept of your website and, you know, what, what it's all about. Oh, absolutely. Uh, the overall concept of My True Ancestry is to help people better understand their own past. Um, we've provided a unique service which focuses entirely on ancient ancestry. So rather than modern ancestry, to say you're, you're French or Italian or, or British, uh, we instead um, compare your DNA to over 10,000 ancient individuals from real archaeological sites. And so basically we, we use the latest archaeogenetic techniques and we compare your DNA and produce uh, reports and interactive reports. So you can actually find your ancient ancestors, so your direct like relatives from the past. It's incredibly cool. Uh, these are actual people who lived in ancient times. Mm -hmm. How amazing is that? That's absolutely incredible. So how does it work? Uh, quite easy, actually. Uh, if you've already taken a DNA test, like over 40, 50 million people out there, you simply go to your test provider and we have a detailed instructions to tell you how to download your raw DNA file. Right. And then you simply sign up on our website. It takes like two seconds and you upload the DNA file. And in just about 10 minutes, your results are ready. So it's really that easy. That is absolutely incredible. So the, it goes back to the actual people whose DNA you are using against modern DNA, is that correct? Exactly, exactly, precisely. So we, we, we compare your DNA that you may have taken at any uh, testing service before you know, there's, mm -hmm. there's a lot of popular companies out there. I think you know, like 40, 50 million people have already taken DNA tests. There's more each year. Yeah. And you simply just get your file and load it on our service. And we compare it to all of these ancient individuals. Wow, that's incredible. So how do you actually get access to ancient DNA? Do you have to work with archaeologists or with you know, companies that, you know, how does, how does that work? There are over 20,000 published archaeological remains out there today. And the raw genetic information from these bodies is there today. And we brought this to everybody. So uh, we're constantly on lookout for the best, most historically interesting, and we make them available as soon as possible. So, uh, for example, you know, there's 20,000 uh, remains, but I mentioned we compare you to over 10,000 because we're focusing on the historical remains the interesting ones uh, because uh, I mean you, you can go back really far um, but we're trying to put things into historical context and that's one of the main purposes of our site uh, we provide a time machine to take you back so we're not just comparing you to uh, this um, Roman tribesman living in York or this gladiator who died in Rome you know which is cool in itself we're also putting it in a time so in an epoch so we're talking about this individual was alive at 500 AD, or this individual was alive, uh, you know, in, in, you know, in the Stone Age. So we basically kind of put a time and place, GPS coordinates in, and really use this information to provide our, our reports, which are these uh, multimedia reports, these interactive maps and graphs. Uh, so you can really figure out exactly what that means. Wow. So if you were to do this, you wouldn't just get um, like a report with the information. You'd get, you know, um, like you said, videos, imagery, maps, stuff like that. Is there any reason why you decided to make it so interactive just to? Uh, precisely. So uh, we started our service in 2019 and uh, we've grown a lot since then. And during the time we, we, we engage our user base. And what this means is we have a very rapid uh, a set of changes and ongoing uh, new features coming out every week. And this is something totally unlike other services. So 
um, instead of simply giving you a report, you get as like a, a picture or a chart and say, this is your ancestry. Uh, instead of that, we, we opt for the interactive uh, option for people so they can go in and, and see exactly what's happening and log in next week and now have a new report, a new way of visualizing or understanding what's going on. Uh, and their DNA is the same, you know, they, they didn't, nothing changed. The ancient people's DNA didn't change, but the information made available, the way it's presented changes and it's constantly improving. And this is only possible with this interaction. Uh, but we do, you know, we have a, another service on the way as well, which is kind of focused more on providing a, a report, an atomic report. I'll talk about that later. Um, but basically uh, we're, we're trying to engage people at all levels of interest and, and many of our users are very experienced. Uh, they've been doing DNA tests in many different testing companies before. They love to compare the results of each testing company against each other. They like to challenge the system, figure things out and they love it because they can really see in a very transparent way uh, how uh, we're comparing the DNA and this excites people. That's pretty incredible. So uh, this is just an assumption. I'm as sort of it moves on, do you get more DNA? So you get new pieces of information that's made public and available. Does that mean that people's results can also change? Uh, results don't change, but they get better. Okay. So what that means is, um, for example, uh, today you, know, you log in and we say you're 20% um, uh, 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 Alemannic tribe. So you're, you have this Germanic tribe and you 20%, let's say. And um, what happens is uh, each week, we're constantly adding new ancient individuals into the system. They can be from all over the world. They're, they're not just in Europe. Uh, we have from you know, Africa, Asia, the Americas, uh, pre-Columbus times, you know, so ancient individuals, also some, some post-colonial people as well. But basically we have individuals from all these sites constantly being added and researched by our team. They're loaded into the system and these add to your results. So uh, the next time you log in, in case we, you know, added a, a, you know, uh, some new uh, matches from, from England, uh, from medieval England, let's say, which you'll see is you'll see those as additional results, but the fact that you're still uh, 20% Alemani tribe doesn't really change. Sometimes it changes a little bit, but the results are actually augmented. So we provide results in two ways. One is we have sample matches, which are new samples that have similar genetic signatures to you. And the other way is what we call deep dive matches, which are individuals who we actually find the DNA segments you share with them and present them to you. So you can imagine by adding more samples, you'll have more such results each time you log in. That's brilliant. So you may, you know, do, do it once, but then it's ever evolving and, you know, ever increasing the information. That's really cool. Exactly. Um, so it's a living creature. Absolutely. Um, and I would love to know your inspiration behind uh, My True Ancestry. Why did you start this project? Oh, this is a great question. So <laughs> I uh, personally, I took, I was doing a family tree project uh, years ago and I, I was, I have a really good, you know, record in my, my family. I'm from Finland originally and, you know, we have really good records in the churches going back and, you know, you can quite go back 500, 600 years, pretty good. And then the records kind of stop for historical reasons. And this is common in a lot of places that people usually don't, can't get back that far. But I was really curious to fill in some loose ends. And then I noticed you can do DNA research. So I said, okay, sent in a DNA test kit. And um, uh, immediately I, I saw the results, but they were very boring. It said, you're hundred percent finish. I'm like, cool, well, no, that, that doesn't teach me much. No, it doesn't. So I'm like, there's more to this. And then I started researching the forums and, and you know, uh, realizing that actually you can compare your DNA to ancient individuals and exactly that's that's kind of how we got started so we realized aha we need to we need to do this and and and, and make this available I, I personally uh, immediately I found matches in Sigtuna in Sweden which is an uh, old Viking town where actually my family tree also goes back to and it was proven by the actual results I could see it. and that's what got me excited personally I'm like you know what this works this is really cool I want to bring this to everybody. I want everyone to explore this. And, and why is it interesting to learn about your past? Simply because it, you learn about yourself, you learn about history, you engage history, it becomes alive to you. It takes a personal tone. Like, you know, I, I did my, uh, my DNA search back further 
And then I discovered, I have a link to like a, a, a Rolo of Normandy, the Viking who settled there. So I have, you know, my sword here hanging around, you know, carry that, take it, you know, you take these things into your daily life. It's really fun. And this is that's exactly incredible. what people love. And you're just bringing history and genetics and information available to everybody. How fabulous. So you started with your own inspiration and your own want for knowledge and it sort of snowballed from there. So that's very cool. Um, and I know you mentioned before you've got some, some new uh, features or products. Do you want to tell us a bit about them? Absolutely. So uh, one exciting feature that we've been launching recently has been the historic maps feature. And this means we're taking uh, maps or collecting from uh, antique shops and, and, and places and, and bringing them together, scanning them digitally. And then we're actually remapping using advanced uh, mathematics uh, these maps to uh, modern GPS coordinates. And the idea there is we can overlay your ancient ancestors' locations onto historically accurate maps. It's super cool. Uh, like uh, here, here I'll show you on the table even. I think we have some, uh, some of our, uh, our maps here uh, being worked on, as you can see. So it's, it's a quite active, uh, active thing going on here. And people love it because you can take the slider and slide the map from the past to the modern. You can understand how cities evolved in the modern day. Even if you don't have a match on a map, it's just so cool to go in and see, you know, what cities didn't exist two, three, four, five hundred years ago, uh, how the roads evolved, and you quickly realize how interconnected everything is. And that's actually also one of the things that we do in our service is instead of being very like, um, I, I guess, kind of a, a uh, to the point of, of judging people as saying you're 100% this or 100% that. And then people have labels of modern populations. They think I am 100% Italian, right? Well, there's actually no such thing because it's actually much more common. You, if, you would be a combination of, of all kinds of ancient uh, Greek tribes, Illyrians, Etruscans. Uh, there's so many interesting civilizations. We have 151 of them. So wherever you are, you realize you're a mix of a lot of ancient populations, and you realize the countries neighboring you, you know, are also the same. And you, you realize a lot of connections. So it brings people together instead of kind of separating them like uh, the modern world kind of tries to do. And this is also what I like about the site. The message is to bring people together. The maps do this too, brings people together. Uh, another exciting feature we're working on is, uh, is just launching now. It's called My Saga. It is a parallel website to mytrueancestry.com. It's mysaga.com, uh, also built by us. And the purpose there is to um, provide your DNA results in a simple uh, video uh, format. And the idea here is you're able to watch a movie about yourself, starting in the past and moving forward. And we show images of your ancestors. We show the backgrounds of where they were living and it's, a, it's like a multimedia presentation. And as well as you'll see the links to the ancient uh, DNA and how much DNA you share with the individuals being presented. But it takes on more of like a media format, which you can share with your friends more easily in you know, TikTok, and Instagram, YouTube. It, it, it reaches a whole new generation of users because I think a lot of people, they don't understand all the history. They may not understand all of the, all of the information presented. It may be too much or they want to share what they found with someone. They're so excited and they don't have the, it's difficult because you, you can show the login on the website, show all these charts and graphs, but if you want to share with your friends and family instantly, this is a really great way. And that's the whole point. It's a much uh, simpler, but equally powerful system. It runs on the same backend. So we have the same ancient bodies, the same connection, all of the same research and analysis is available. And that will be actually also uh, evolving as well going forward. So it's a whole new branch reaching a whole new audience, but I think it's very popular. Uh, My True Ancestry also kind of pioneered the, the saga video concept as well, but now this is kind of taken to a whole new level. So this is an exciting feature. Another interesting thing we're doing as well, which is taking great reception from our user base, is the introduction of our, um, our videos, which we're using uh, AI to help with. So we have a nice uh, AI generated spokesman going over, but he, uh, what we're doing is we're explaining the history of these maps and the history of topics. And I think it's been really well received. And this is kind of like the um, uh, uh, 
Cambrian explosion in terms of what, what's happened in the world and we are embracing it in terms of generative AI and how important it is. So the, the ability, we also use this to help generate images of some of the ancient people that maybe no artist or illustrator has drawn before. So now with the help of AI, we can bring this and use these tools to help the user base better understand their history. And this is really exciting. I think this is something that we're, we're, we're ahead of the curve on the technology by far. And in terms of getting access to information, we're there. And in terms of asking the history, we're there. So this is really our key points. This is what makes people excited to use our service. How brilliant. It seems like you're sort of utilizing all of the most current technology to the best, you know, that you possibly can, which is awesome. And they're making this information, you know, contextualizing it, but also making it really digestible, um, which is precisely, I think that it's really about helping people to understand their own past. And that's really our mission. And we constantly finding ways to do that at my ancestry. We're constantly find, thinking out of the box. How can it be presented? What's the latest available? How can we do this for people? How to help them out? How to help them engage? And, and they love it. And this is also, we take feedback. We're a living, breathing community. We're not just a, you know, a, a business like the, a lot of these larger companies. We're, we're actually a really exciting uh, interactive community. Uh, we receive questions, suggestions, uh, requests, and we, we try our best to implement them. And this is actually, I mean, people love that. Yeah, that, that really, you know, intimate interaction is great. Mm-hmm. People love to know that they're being heard and, you know, maybe they see developments, they go, oh, you know, that's what I thought of half a year yeah. ago and you know, I'm seeing it. Um, do you have anything that you really want to do with My True Ancestry that you haven't been able to do yet, but you are hoping to get to in the future? Um, I think we, we want to try to um, uh, get the message out a bit more in terms of uh, how important uh, history is and trying to help people who are researching their families, how exciting it can be. I think that's what personally got me involved. I didn't really think too much about it. I was just filling in my grandmother's old family tree, you know, going back, trying to digitize what she had done by hand. You know, that's what I started with. And then I went into the digital world and realized, wow, there's so much connectivity here. Because with all of this available research, available online in terms of family tree research and all the data sources becoming available, and now with the help of AI data source, you can get so access to so much more information out there and combine it and try to reconstruct your own past. And this is possible. You could, and this is also very popular with people who, who don't have any of their history. It's quite common that, um, you know, maybe they were adopted or maybe their family didn't track stuff or they're just, you know, they're from a very complicated background. Now with the help of my true ancestry, they can go in and actually do this research and discover their own past without anything, just literally uh, sending in a sample, which is so easy to do. You just, but you know, you have a little test tube, a little slide in there, send it and it's done. You don't have to think about it and, and, and then it's digitized. And then as soon as that's done, we can then process it. Our results are done in just 10 minutes, believe it or not. So in 10 minutes after you upload your DNA file and you have your, your results from us and it's free of charge to try. And then uh, we offer a, a variety of levels of upgrades. So people can choose, uh, depending on their needs, to upgrade, or they can just stay a free user uh, if they like. Every time we do a release, we kind of help them out, resetting their restrictions so they can explore a bit more, and and people like that. That's brilliant. So you've made it completely accessible for just the general enthusiast, but then, you know, you can unlock benefits. Try try before you buy, you know. We're full engagers of that concept, and, uh, you know, we're an uh, independent... uh, fully self-owned Swiss company here. So we don't have any uh, external interests other than just helping people understand their past. And that, that's really it. That's brilliant. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Marcus. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Um, and for anyone now very interested in learning about their ancient ancestors, um, we're going to leave the link down below for mytruancestry.com. Oh, fabulous. Thank you. It was a pleasure being here today. Uh, I, I love talking to people about uh, what we do and uh, history, archaeology, all of this stuff, the technology and all, it's incredible. And uh, we're constantly trying to, to improve things, expand things and build an amazing service. And uh, we love it. So hope to have you come check out our site and our, our new site, mysaga.com as well. And uh, yeah. 
Brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you. This video was brought to you by World History Encyclopedia. For more great articles and interactive content, head to our website via the link below. If you like my shirt, you can find this design and a bunch more in our shop at worldhistory.store, or you can find a link for it down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you soon with another video.